Hey YouTube, this is Quan from ZTag, and in this video, I wanted to demonstrate our new ZTag drone laser tag board. And how this board works is it's designed to be front mounted to a standard HD mini quad, such as uh, this one that I have. Uh, I'm using a pretty generic Source One frame, and uh, I self printed a, a TPU mount uh, to put this in front of the camera. And how this works is uh, we designed this system so that it requires minimal installation. Uh, you don't have to wire anything up to your flight controller to get OSD, but instead, by putting this board right in front of your camera, the LEDs over here essentially act as your heads-up display and your life indicator. And then we have additional LEDs here uh, facing outwards to show your team colors so that other drones can, look, uh, can see you and, and tag, uh, tag you. And how the actual tagging action works is if one drone is able to fly and hit, uh, go from behind another drone so that its signal uh, is able to hit one of these sensors that are rear facing, then that's how uh, you register a successful tag. And so I wanted to just demonstrate some of the details to this board. So you see the five lights facing the camera right now. This will be your health indicator. And the game starts with five lives. And every time you get tagged, you're gonna lose one life. Uh, all the way until uh, you have only one life left. And we added an interesting uh, balance feature. If you have only one life left, uh, when you tag somebody else, you'll actually take them for, for double. You're gonna drop them by two lives and you actually gain one life back just so we keep the game pretty balanced and interactive. So you pretty much almost like uh, ping pong or beer pong where you have to win by two. Okay, and so here uh, you're gonna get these two wires that'll take up to uh, 3S to 6S voltages. And then you can decide whether you wanna solder on a balance lead uh, to put onto your LiPo, or you could directly solder it to uh, some terminal on your flight controller. Uh, in case you want to do something more permanent. But you know, for this, you can install it in many different ways, and we have two mounting holes uh, for different ways you can uh, connect it to uh, your drone. And so here, the three buttons, pretty straightforward. The first one, when you press it, simply resets the board so you get all five lives again. The second one, when you press it, will change the intensity of the heads-up display. And the reason why we want to do this is because depending on different ambient uh, light level conditions, um, th these lights may be too bright and will wash out your camera uh, to the point where you really can't see where you're going. Uh, whereas if you're playing in a, a brighter area, you want this light to be uh, somewhat brighter just so you can see it easily. These five lights are outward facing and they're your team indicator so that it shows um, it shows other uh, players who you are and whose team you're on. Now, another feature to the second button is if I hold it down for more than a second, you'll see these three LEDs here, it'll be either one, two, or three, and this indicates the infrared emitter strength, uh, the signal coming out of this board and uh, how, how much range you're gonna get before you hit another drum. So when you have three, that's gonna give you the furthest range, and I recommend that in brighter conditions, um, whereas in darker areas, you start with one. So you kind of test that, and for the best experience and for fairness, uh, make sure every player has the same setting on either level one, two, or three for their signal strength. And finally, the last button just changes your team colors. So we have six different colors you can demonstrate from. And then I'll demonstrate here. Here's another board that's already active, uh, but it has no more lives left. So we'll see here, as soon as I uh, reset this board, most likely this, uh, because this board is so close on the table, it's gonna register a hit over here. Okay. Yeah, so you see, if this board gets behind, then it starts flashing.
And as far as mounting goes, I wanted to go into a little bit more detail. Uh, we'll be providing the files for you to download uh, from Thingiverse. And uh, you can decide to either print this mount yourself or, um, or do some other kind of mounting option. Uh, this is what I've experimented to, to work. And the reason why uh, we have a TPU mount out here is just to protect the board since it is the, the furthest thing that's going to extend out of your, uh, your drone. So anytime you land or crash, you know, uh, a little bit hard, um, this board is going to take a hit. And so we want to fully protect it. The other thing is, um, depending on how you have your, your camera set up, this board may actually be a little bit too high and cover up too much of your, your camera view. So uh, we have a design where uh, it's slotted right here. Uh, the mount is slotted to allow you to lower this board so that it's only uh, covering maybe the lower third or a lower fourth of your, your camera view. Um, so these are things that you'll probably have to test yourself once you get this board from us and, um, and let us know. Uh, beyond that, you know, this is pretty much a, a very straightforward game. We're just looking for the community to give us feedback and uh, see how they like the gameplay and if there's uh, anything that they, uh, they would like to see us change in terms of the software uh, or the rules. But uh, we're really excited because I think uh, ZTag will bring a whole new level of interactivity to your, uh, uh, your, your drone flying. We have freestyle and we have racing, but I would say uh, those are rather solo activities. Even as far as racing goes, it's really individual performance for speed. You're not interacting too much with another drone other than trying to uh, get in front of it. Whereas in this game, uh, you can go back to the same courses that you've played, uh, bandos that you've flown, and you can actually, instead of just treat the, the holes uh, and, and walls as obstacles that you gotta get through or get around, these are now your new bunkers. So we really hope that by bringing ZTag out to the market, uh, that we're enabling a, a whole new level of interaction between drones uh, and, and pilots. So uh, yeah, we hope to get your feedback and uh, let me know. Thanks so much.